going on, everybody? Welcome back to the farm here at Lone Oak. We have uh, we've got a call from one of my uh, one of my buddies. So he needs a little help today. He uh, so let me let me explain this a little bit better. Uh, I haven't really explained this to you guys yet. We have our CDL. Uh, so we we are legal to drive semi trucks for hire, and uh, so I could try and make a little bit more money. Uh, it was about a few weeks ago now. I actually went and I applied uh, for a trucker position over at uh, a buddy of mine. He works there. He's the he's the lot manager at this uh, this trucking company. So I applied there, went through all my testing, went through everything, and we got approved. And uh, we've been doing that on the side for a little while. We've been hauling just a box trailer. We've been hauling stuff like seed and and uh, really just anything that goes in box uh, in, in the box trailers, like the Wabash trailer. We've been doing that now for uh, a few weeks uh, behind the scenes, trying to grind away and get a little bit more money. He gave me a call today, and he said, he said, uh, Jake, my my... My it, my heavy hauler, he's uh, he's he's AFK. Like he he's out. He's gone. He's nowhere to be seen. And I've got a load to be hauled today. Someone bought a uh, bought a brand new case combine that needs hauled across the county, and I don't have anyone to haul it. And I I said, well, boss, I do not have any experience or expertise hauling. A heavy haul and he said look i i know but if you could pull this off i i would greatly appreciate it and he said that he would give us a real real nice check for getting this done because uh they've already got the contract to haul it and the guy that was supposed to haul it is missing he's just not he didn't show up for work i don't know what the deal is but we're here, uh we're headed over there right now to to help him out so we're headed down to his his little lot that he's got we're going to hop up in the truck. He said it's all ready to go. The trailer is hooked up. Uh, the load's not on it. we got to go pick up the load. And then we have to deliver it to its destination, which is just across county. So he's, he gave me the, the addresses and everything uh, and the, the uh, manifest information and everything. So I had that. And uh, the pickup location is actually the people that we just bought our field from. I was, you know, I was saying that they, uh, they've been in some hard times, been selling off some stuff. Well, I guess they sold their combine. It's a case. I, I don't know what it is. I just know it's a case and it needs hauled. Uh, so we're headed down there right now. Going to get our truck all ready to go. Going to do our pre-trip inspection, make sure everything is good to go. Then we'll get over there, get it picked up. I don't know if anyone's going to be there to help me load this thing up or not. I guess we'll find out. And then we'll get it hauled to its destination, which I believe we've already passed the destination. I believe it was back there, or is it? No, it's down here. It's it. It's a, there's a highway off of this highway somewhere. I'll have to keep my out, eye out for it, but that's uh, that's where it'll be going. We're showing up to the yard here. It's not too impressive right now because he just started this company. Uh, about a half year ago, a year and a half a year now. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, he's all of his other trucks are actually out running right now, so the yard looks pretty empty. But we're gonna park up just right here, and we are gonna hop in to this truck and get it ready to go. All right, let's hop up into the cab here. Oh, it is locked. Okay. Well, let's walk inside and see if we can find the keys. All right, we just got the keys. Let's uh, go and close these doors back up. Don't want to be a jerk and leave them all open. That would be rude of us, wouldn't it? So now we've got the keys. Now let's hop up in the truck, get it fired up, and do our pre-trip inspection here. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, turn this thing over. Starts up right away. Now, we got our uh, brakes all set there. Yep, we'll have to check, make sure that the trailer's all hooked up proper. So we're gonna do our checks inside here real quick, just to make sure everything's good to go. Let's set, uh, let's set these daytime running lights on. There we go. 
Uh, let's go ahead and turn on the flashers as well so we can check those. Okay, we should be good to go there. Let's hop back out. Alright, yep, we got daytime lights on. Flashers are working both sides. Let's check here. We got our airlines and our lights all hooked up. Trailer seems to be attached. I'll have to walk to the other side and check the coupler. Alright, looking good here. Legs are up. Trailer is all connected through here. Lights are all connected through. Bed is good. Looks all like all these tires are all right. Yep, we're looking good here. Oh, we need to go in and turn on the strobes. Make sure those are working. Trailer lights appear to all be working. Yep, all the trailer lights seem to work. All right. So as we walk back up here, we'll just make sure that that is not pulled right there. And it's not. Okay, that's all good to go. Let's hop back up in here. Let's, uh, let's see, where is it at here on the dash? There it is. Okay. Okay, so let's see if that got those strobes on now. Yep. All right, cool. So strobes are operational. Now let's uh, just do one more check around, make sure all these latches are latched on the side panels. The hood is latched, looks like it. No side, uh, side door sitting over here. These tires are all looking good to go. Okay. I think we are operational, ready to go. So let's get over and uh, let's get this thing picked up. One last thing I need to check before we fully pull out. We'll go ahead and check it now. We will uh, We'll see if the trailer brakes work here. Yep, looks like they're working. Awesome. Let's roll. This massive trailer and you, you just you can't see it man like these mirrors do not do us any justice here you just cannot see how massive this trailer is when you're turning Whew, this is gonna be a difficult haul today make sure we're gonna clear that looks like we did perfect all right let's roll out onto the highway before we do i'm gonna turn off our flashers here all right, there we go. Okay, let's turn on our blinker. Anybody coming? Yeah, there's some cars coming there. Let's wait for them. We don't want to pull out in front of them in this truck, especially once we get loaded. No, thank you. Oh, come on, cars. Okay, we'll wait a little bit longer here. It's okay. We have patience. Got to have patience when we're going to be hauling something this big. What I'm going to do is check the other way. We're good. We're going to kind of pull off up over here. Oh, no, someone's coming now. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Man, you jerk. That is so close. Look. At I'm so sorry. Jeez, people. This. Okay. Just so you guys know, the traffic in Farming Sim is horrendous. Okay? It's just horrible. They don't stop. They don't recognize trailers. Like, they just don't do anything. Like, the traffic is a brick wall, and they just go no matter what, so there's not much I can do about that. We're rolling down the road to get this, uh, get this combine picked up. We already got our log set. We put in our log card before we, uh, before we rolled out. And we should be good to go. Luckily, we're not going to be hitting any weight stations on this trip. We are going through some... These roads are tight in this. I'll tell you that much. We got our uh, engine brake set up, though. So that's going to help us out a lot through here. It's actually... This truck, we're not running an engine brake. We're actually running what is called a retarder. A retarder. And I didn't want to call it that because I, I thought people would would uh, think I was saying something that I was not. <laughs> so just so you guys know, it's, it's a different... It's sort of like an engine brake, but it's more transmission-based, okay? Just so you guys know, that's what it's called. It's te technical term is a retarder. All right, I'm not I'm not saying a slur or anything. What is traffic stopped here for? Are we in a traffic jam for no reason? That's the turn we're going to be taking after we get it picked up. But I think we're stuck in a traffic jam, and I don't know why. What is this about? Come on. Come on, we got places to be. Uh, looks like there was a... Jeez. What is this about? A five-car accident up here? 
Gotta love farm sim cars. Gotta love farm sim traffic. Two hours later. Okay, they got that all taken care of. And would you know it, we had our blinker on that whole time. We were going to run out of blinker juice if we weren't care careful there. Uh, that's the road we're going to be taking when we drop that thing off. It was right over there. Luckily, I don't think we're going to be going on any gravel other than we when we leave. The, uh, the person who owns the combine currently, or the, where we're picking it up. I guess he doesn't own it anymore. He sold it, but you, you get what I mean. So we're headed back down here to this side of, uh, this side of the county. We're going to take a right. Got our blinker turned on. Retarder is slowing us down now. There we go. Gonna take this turn nice and wide. Hopefully this car lets us take the turn, please. Thank you for hitting the brakes, I guess, but... Okay, they figured their way around, finally. Idiots, man. There's nothing but idiots out here. Oh, there we go. All right, we're rolling again. We don't even have a load yet, and we fought traffic more than I wanted to. Jeez, man. Oh, uh, what are you stopped up here? Don't make me... Yeah, I'm going around you. I'm done with you. I'm done. I'm already done with farming some traffic. It's just so bad. It's just so bad. This was supposed to go, like, smooth and legit, and maybe we have a problem here and there. But for the most part, this was supposed to be a nice, easy haul. I guess the game was like, nah, dude, you don't get that today. <laughs> uh, please, Giants, make your traffic better. Sincerely, every farming sim player. Okay, here's our left turn right here now. Good luck making this turn. Oh, good lord. We're going to get over here in the dirt a little bit, which is a terrible idea. We are not going to make this turn. I guarantee it. I guarantee we do not make this turn. What kind of turn is this, man? Oh my gosh. Now we got to crank it back this way, see if we can swing this. I really don't think we can. I'm trying to watch that pole over there. You gotta be... And we're in the grass? Like, traction much, Jake? Oh, good lord. Okay, we made it. We made it. We skated past it. Whew! I think this trailer is too big for this haul. Especially if we're just hauling a combine. I don't know why we've got all these different, uh, what are they? These different extensions on this trailer, like the, that's, you know, the extra tires. We don't need them, man. We just don't need those. Don't see the purpose of having them. We could have done this with, without that whole back piece and even possibly without this front piece, to be honest with you, but. Oh, well, it's what he gave us. It's what we're going to work with. Uh, we'll try. We'll try our best, but this is where we're picking up from, right here. This guy's place. Now, I am not pulling in there. <laughs> I am not pulling in there, that is for sure. We are going to pull off right here. Let's see. Let's hop out. Let's take a look. Uh, how's this looking? It's not quite level. Is it? Well, we are not quite level, but I think that's... I don't think that's pretty close to level. We could pull forward a little ways and get it more level yet. Oh, no. You know what? I'm going to say that's fine. Okay. So here's what we're going to have to do. We're going to pull these wires. We're going to pull this couple now. So... Actually, no. Never mind. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I thought I was back there. Let me reattach these wires. Ay, ay, ay. See? I don't do heavy hauls. I told them. I haul 53 foot... 53 foot Wabash trailers. Not this stuff, man. Okay, got that hooked back up. Okay, here's what we gotta disconnect right here. Let's just double check it all. Yep. Okay, so let's just get these wires unhooked then. There we go. We should be able to pull that right out of its slot now. Okay, let's see if we'll... Yep, there we go. Nice and easy. We're going to pull straight forward past the driveway here. All right, and 
and we're going to stop right there. Apply that brake as we got out, just to be safe. Now let's run over here and see if we can find this combine. I think he said he had it in shed, and the only one I'm seeing probably big enough is... Let me check. No, that's not big enough. Okay, looks like this one right here is probably where it's going to be. Yep, that's it. Let me just make sure this isn't the wrong combine here. Case IH Axle Flow 8120. Yep, that's the one. That's the one we're pulling today. Okay, well, let's hope the keys are in it. Let's hop up. Let's hop inside. Let's see, do we find them keys anywhere? Where's it? Oh, it's actually right there in the corner post. We're already for us. Let's turn it over. Started right up. Nice. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad case. Okay, let's uh, figure out how to use you. Uh, is this forward? Oh, yep. Okay, cool. Got it. Let's pull this thing out of the barn. Nice and easy. Make sure we fit. I'm going to pull straight out. Make sure I'm all the way clear before we make our turn. There we go. Looking good. All right, let's run this thing right down here to the trailer, and we'll... I think we'll back it onto the trailer. I should have pulled that truck forward even more. Dang, son. Oh, well. You live and you learn, right? We're not going to hit anything back there as I turn, I hope. I think I cleared everything enough. Okay, cool. Now, we do not have a spotter to help me back this thing on. Oh, boy. Okay, I think we're about to get on that trailer. Yep, there we go. Oh, I can't see a thing. I really hope we're lined up even. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. Let's park and brake. Let's hop out. Let's check it before we okay it here. Yeah. Oh, shoot. All right, we did a pretty good job there. We're pretty even on both sides, aren't we? Let's see. We're back far enough. Let's hop. Let's, I'm not hopping that. That's going to take too much effort. Let's just run over here. Uh, yeah, looking good there. Tire's a little wide, but it's all right. It's sitting. Okay, I think this this is looking good. We'll get it strapped down, get her hooked up, and uh, we'll be on out of here. We'll also get it shut off. So let me strap it down here. Okay, we got it strapped down. Now, let's hop back up in there. There we go. And shut her off. Make sure that parking brake was turned on. Lights are all off and everything. Awesome. Let's hop back out. There we go. Got it loaded up. That actually was really easy. I mean, it was a little difficult trying to get lined up there for a second, but uh, long run, that went all right. Now, let's back this thing up and hope to holy heck I can line this up. These mirrors again are horrible. I'm trying to not... No, 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 no. I was trying to keep my wheel as straight as humanly possible in hopes that I could just follow this right back, right exactly where it came out from. Guess that ain't happening. Okay, that's all right. Nice and easy. Got to be getting close, huh? Come on. Oh, gosh. I feel like we've got to be on it. We've got to be on it, right? Hold on. Oh! Ah, we're a little off. Oh, we were so close. Okay, okay, that's all right. We can, we can wiggle. We can wiggle this thing over a little bit. I think we'll get it. What side was, what side was I favoring? I think I need to come this way a little bit. All right? This way a little bit. Bring her straight back. Nice and easy. Oh, there we go. I think we hit it. Okay. Uh, yep, got it. Let's get these lines put back in. There we go. Make sure our load didn't shift any or anything for some reason. Looking good. Tires are all good still. Everything's coupled back here. Oversized load flags. Uh, and uh, the, the lights are all on. All right. I think we're ready to hit the road. Let's do this. All right, turn off, turn off them flashers, put her in gear, pull on forward. First thing we got to figure out 
It's how are we turning this thing around? <laughs> I guess I don't have to turn it around. Is there a back way I could take? I could take gravel the whole way, although I really would like to not. Just because I'm afraid that we'll, we'll hit some soft gravel or something and we will just sink. I was trying to travel as little gravel as possible. We're right over here by our place, though. And I do think that there is a road we could possibly take. Uh, hmm. I might end up being easier and turning around because I don't want to drive into the grass either. We're still looking good. I'm taking my time, going nice and slow. Got about just shy of 20 mile an hour there. About to hit 20 now. Don't want to go too much faster on gravel. Um, okay. I don't, I don't think we're going to get turned around anywhere. I really don't. So I'm going to continue down this way because I think we'll just take gravel roads over uh, to the highway. That was not my initial plan, not at all, but just looking at this terrain, I really don't want to try turning this thing around here. Ooh, this is a hill. Give it more power. Oh, we're slowing down. Wow, this thing is heavy for this truck. She made it, though. Truck's running pretty good. Got plenty of power for it. Okay, we're going to take a left here, perhaps. I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, let's do it. Let's take the left right here. I'm committing to it. It's not getting that dirt. That could be very, very, uh... Very, very muddy for not careful. We cleared that. I'm trying to accelerate nice and easy here. Don't want to spin any tires. We lose traction. We break traction and we will regret it. That is for sure. Boy, this is not a gravel road, Jake. Oh my gosh. This is a little, just a little cow path. This might have been a mistake. This very much might have been a mistake to take this route. This does, this is not maintained. Oh, boy. Oh, I can turn here at my property. Or I could go straight. Oh, the decisions. Hmm. I want to go highway, but I really don't know if I'll clear that turn with this. Oh, you know what? I don't want to go on this road anymore. Hopefully this isn't wet right here. No, nope, it's not muddy. It's fairly dry. That's good. We're going to go this way. We're going to do it. I could have continued over that way, but I just think, you know, that'll put us on the other side of the switchbacks over there, and I don't want to go through those with this, and I don't want to take that little cow path any farther because I... I don't know how well it's maintained. Ooh, we're getting a little speedy. Getting a little speedy. Slow down, slow down. Nice and easy. You gotta keep, you gotta maintain your, your speed. You gotta keep control, otherwise you'll lose it real fast. Alright, we're just gonna use my place to turn around here. Luckily, I know the owner, and I know that they don't mind me driving in here with this. In fact, they probably wish that, they, uh, that I would uh, keep the combine here. I say this all jokingly, as I am the owner of this property, obviously. Okay, let's take this turn. I don't think we're going to bottom out here, but this is a little hillier than I thought right here. A little more power. We cleared that. I sure hope so. This, this, is, this mirror is absolutely worthless, man. Looks like we cleared everything fine. Load is still on the trailer. All right. So we just did a loop. That worked out. Well, actually. She, no one's coming. Alright, let's take this turn. Nice and wide again. Stick in this lane. Oh, oh. Uh oh. Breaking traction a little bit. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. There we go. Alright, we're rolling. Let's take a look at this thing, shall we? Woo! That is a big old load right there. Yeah, we didn't need this trailer this big, though. 
We did not need this. We could have done without that back half for sure. Could have probably... Yeah, we could have done without this front bit too. This trailer is overkill for this load. That's... And it's making it difficult, more difficult than it needs to be to drive. Oh gosh, I would hate to go down that road right there with this. I wouldn't. To be more specific, I would not go down that road. Alright, let's actually turn on our uh, our lights to make us a little more visible to everyone. Just just for safety's sake. Alright, gotta pay attention to where I'm going now. We're going a little fast. We're going right past the guy who, uh... Right where we picked it up from. That's our field right there, and it looks like it's got some weeds in it. Ah, you're going to have to spray them weeds. That's all right. I, do I have, sp I don't have a sprayer. Oh man. Okay. I might have to wonder what it costs to have the co-op come do that. Ooh, slow down. Slow down. Ooh. Okay. We're, this was actually probably a bad idea. We got a lot of low hanging branches. We're going to try and meander this thing through these branches here without also getting stuck. Oh, all right. Let's meander it back this way now. Right around those branches. There we go. Not too far this way. I want to get stuck again. Trying to maintain speed too. We're rolling a little bit. I'm in, I'm in the brakes. Come on. Oh, traffic's, traffic's being traffic again. There we go. Let's bring it over here to the right. Or the left, rather. Turn let's indicate as well, just to be safe. There we go. Let's take this turn real wide, real, real wide. Because I know we will not clear that turn if we do not do that. Oh, come on, car, please. Stop. 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 All right. Well, we made the turn back there after fighting with traffic for a little bit. I decided to just turn them off. They are, it's just too worthless. Traffic is just too worthless to deal with. I'm not dealing with it anymore. If this was American Truck Sim, and they don't even have that good of traffic, then it's not as bad. But man, Farming Sim, <laughs> it's just bad. Either way, we're rolling down the road. We got our load still. Everything's looking fine. We shouldn't be there in too much longer. It's actually not that far of a drive. In fact, if I were these people, and if I bought this combine... I'd have just driven it down the road toward my place. I mean, to be honest with you, it probably would have taken the same amount of time and would have saved them money, but hey, you know what? They wanted to do this, which means the, the boss man gave me a job, which means I get money in my pocket, so I guess I can't complain. Coming up to a right-hand turn here, though. Oh, ignore that. <laughs> Sometimes this trailer's so low and the maps are uh, very angular and they're grading that it clips is all. Coming up to right and turn. We're going to swing this thing over here into this lane. Try to swing it back to the right and it doesn't want to turn tight enough. Okay, terrific. Let's back it up a little bit. Hope we don't jackknife it. Back forwards. Well, we're looking all right. This is going so terribly not almost gonna hit that sign let's readjust a little bit more come on there's some rocks right there i can't get over all the way there we go we're making this turn oh looks like we're gonna clear it yeah just barely just barely gonna clear that. Oof, we're even dragging the trailer in the dirt, into the dirt a little bit there. All right, continue down the road. Ooh, this thing is wide. It's a good thing uh, if we meet any traffic, it had to be a real problem. We'd have to get over, like, a lot. I don't think we'd even be able to get over all the way. Holy cow! Look at this thing. Just massive. All right, let's hop back into the cab so we can actually drive this thing. <laughs> See where we're going. Right up here, actually, convenient timing. Right here's our turn. Let's indicate again. Prepare to take our left-hand turn. Try and take it as wide as I can. Going to favor this side a lot again, and we may not clear that. Let's hope. Oh, well, looks like we cleared it. Nice. 
No hiccups there. Cleared it with ease. And then right down here, you see this house right there? I think that is where we're dropping this bad boy off at. Unless it's the turn, is it, the, is it right before it? Oh, it might be the road right before it. No, I don't think so. I, I'm i not entirely sure where their barns are. But this is the place. Oh, dear lord. Oh, no, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Is it this place down here? I was just told it was on this road. Hold on. I gotta I gotta check their address on the on the delivery. Alright, as I was uh as I drove right past that place, I checked the the address and it was this person's address. So I'm pulling between these fields, just barely up I'm in, I'm full throttle right now trying to climb this hill. It is not one to climb it, I can tell you that much. But these are the people that bought this thing, so I'm gonna drop it off to them right here. This is where they're gonna get it. So, let's go ahead and uh, run back here. Detach these wires again. Perfect. Drop that. Let's pull forward. Pull forward all the way. Got a little crooked there. Gosh darn it. Let's take off these straps. Not add a strap. Oh. Eh. Come on. There we go. Hop up inside. Let's turn it on. Put her in gear. Pull forward right off the trailer nice and easy. Ooh, that was a little rough. Um, I don't know where they want it. So I'm going to pull it off over here. I'm going to try not to drive into their crops. Let's clear that. Ooh, barely. Oh, we're in their crops. Well, what are you going to do? Got to do what you got to do. All right. What's up here? Is this grass? Because if so... Yeah, this is grass. Okay, this is where they're going to... This is where it's going to go. It is right up here in this grass field. Because I do not see their barns. And quite frankly, that is not my problem. It is delivered to the address. They can do with it with whatever they like. I'm going to park it right, right here. Right at the edge of the field. Let's put that brake, turn it off. There they go. They got their new case delivered to them. And that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Whoops, we shut off our engine. Let's turn that back on. It was a bit of a rough one, to be honest with you. The game just did not want to cooperate with me on this, but... Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more Lone Oak series, then let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see y'all later.